it's morning time. Super awesome, just sell. But I don't know where the fuck I should go. Because it seems like the map itself is probably smaller. But at the same time it feels like... More filled with dangerous. Queen is obviously the queen of broad game street. <laughs> I like to remind you to just do it. But to do what? That's the question. You have to go, but have a great rest of your stream, Queen. Okay, thank you for stopping by, Tarna. I appreciate it. Have a lovely rest of your day as well. And hopefully we'll see you tomorrow again, if not later today. Make your dreams come true, of course. What if I don't know what my dreams are? Not quite as sure what that was, but also quite as sure that I don't want to know what that was. Fuck, I got scared by that. So where are we now? In the chapter two. Um, okay, that was something I had to see. But yeah, as far as I know, uh, we are in the chapter two in the swamp area. And that's about it. We came here with the doctor, but I haven't seen the doctor since we came here. He just poof disappeared. And stay the fuck away from me. Man spider! Human spider. Spoderman, Spoderman. A whole new map, yeah. Which makes me think, because I really thought earlier that we are at the end of the game, kind of thing. Now I don't know anymore, and I would love to hear if somebody knows, like, what part of the game we are currently. Because, you know, if we would know that, I could possibly plan the future streams and so on, so on, so on. I just love to schedule my stuff perfectly, so. When I don't know about timings and such, it bothers me more than I let it show, I guess. You have never seen any streamers get this far, so you don't know. Wait, really? Huh. Okay, I don't know who that is, but I'm gonna go ask. Hi Finn, how are you today? But in the end, does it even matter? Oh, we found a doctor! You again. What do you want from me? Want to put me in front of a firing squad for desertion? The doctor snorts ironically, hiding his irritation. I'm not going anywhere with you. I'm too close, I can hear her. Just as if she was standing beside me, my little... With shaking hands, he reaches for the cigarette, but between his yellow teeth, I'm sure someone is waiting for you too. He spits out of the rest of his out of the tobacco. Why are you showing this to me? You better tell me how to get there. Gossip, I have realized something. It came to me when we were walking through the tunnels. You're oh, like a disease, you and your kind. Oh, thanks. Didn't even know there was a second map. The doctor takes a step back, as if he was afraid of me. At the same time, a sinister smile appears on his face. You don't belong to this land. You weren't here where the forest was born. You're a splinter, a foreign body, a vagabond. 
and them, the forest, and everything else here. These are the antibodies. Even the morons from the village, raising white blood cells in infected bloodstream. That's the reason you hide from us. The doctor is visibly pleased with himself and his theory. His hands are no longer trembling. He produces a hand-rolled cigarette and lights it. Logical, isn't it? We'll try to lurk with voice, so if you need me calling you. Okay. Thank you for the lurk. I've proceeded. I used to come here to treat people. I pulled out kids' milk teeth, delivered babies. And when came the diseases, I have never even heard of. I was the only doctor in the area. You cut us off from the outside world. First you, then the woods. No help from anyone. Last time I came here was three or four years ago. The trees blocked the path. The doctor looks around the area. It's different now. The fields are flooded. Everyone in the village is dead. So much work. For nothing. Some of the flooded areas hide underwater passages. Recently I fell into this underwater den in the eastern edge of the swamp. I have no idea where it leads. I'm a shitty diver. I've seen a similar one in the northeastern edge of the swamp. Okay, so there. Well, you sat in the endless IKEA and designed your kitchen. Picked up the new floor laminate to your kitchen hallway. Need to get a saw and some other tools still. Oh. Well, that is definitely something. Um, is it like um another day when you need to complete it still, or like is it delivered later on? Alright, so we found a doctor in the cottage near the junkyard. Who are you? I'm here. Cut. Cut me loose, please. This is uncomfy. Like, really fucking uncomfy. I die now. Mm -hmm. Well, the demolition takes like a day, and then you just put the new laminate that will take you about three hours, then you'll start to assemble the new kitchen. Hmm. Nice. Hopefully, it will be as pleasant as that kind of stuff can be. It looks like a human hand, but it's sticky and grown into the shell. A key grows out of the palm. I should be able to easily tear it off. Who are you? The snail's speech is extremely slow and slurred. He moves his jaw with great effort. It looks like it's about to ha fall off. His eyes sag from their sockets. They dangle from side to side, trying to keep me in their sight. Why? Why are you disturbing my forest? A forest at rest. His right eye raises with a great effort and wobbles. Your face, what happened to you? Thank you for the follow, I proceeded. Started some intuing and odds and ends tomorrow. Okay. The snail jaw falls so low, it almost detaches itself from the rest of the body. You scared me. You barely resemble a human. You should cover yourself. Suddenly, I feel a subtle sh shiver beneath my feet. The snail's body livens up. Quiet! Hear that? Do you hear that voice? The snail tucks his head inside his shell. The sh she calls to me. Can you hear it? The snail falls silent for a longer moment. The inside of the shell is almost completely silent. She is calling me and I'm here, trapped bound. The snail's body suddenly leans forward. The wooden construction of the cottage creaks under its huge bulk. I barely keep my balance. Cut me loose, please. I need to get out of here. If you release me, I will leave. 
come back tomorrow and I won't be here anymore. You can live in my home, you'll like it. You just need to cut me loose. The snail falls silent. His enormous head slowly drops to the shell. Giant gleaming drops of mucus and appear on his slimy skin. You need to understand my predicament. I'm unable to do anything myself. My legs are numb from lying here. I can't feel my arms at all. I admit lying in the sun gives me the strange pleasure, but it's time for me to go. Understand, I have to go. Okay. I spent four hours in the endless Ikea, so today you are just chilling. Fair. You are going there too. What? Everyone is going there. It's the road home after all. Once there was a beautiful clearing. Now everything is covered in water and I have lost my gum boots. Do you have any gum boots on you? You are so ugly I feel like puking. You barely resemble a human being. Thanks! It was yesterday or a few days ago. Maybe a year. I woke up in the front of the house. I thought I was dreaming. I took a step and fell down. I fell straight on the roof. How did this happen? Cut him loose. How am I gonna fucking cut him loose? Maybe I would be able to get inside to cut it through the skin on his belly. It seems quite a prayer. Oh, that's not mm. The IKEA never ends. It says shows an arrow for exit, but the exit is never there. Mm hmm, true. Cut it loose. How do I fucking cut a snail loose? Am I supposed to stab it? I won't fit inside, I need to keep trying. But it wanted to cut loose. How the fuck do I cut it loose? Dot, dot, dot. How the fuck do I cut it loose? Why are you doing this? The hole is still too small. Just Makes me uncomfortable as fuck. I don't think there is any other way. I don't see any other way. Hi, Yebuski. How are you today? Now I killed a freaking snail, but I don't know how the fucking else I would have done it. It just said cut me loose, and I cut. A lot of rusty radio equipment is strewn on the floor. Old recorders and destroyed tapes. Everything is covered in goo dripping from the leaky ceiling. A dry corpse overgrown with small roots. Doing okay, how are you all? Okay so far. <clears throat> Hi Didi, how are you today? Like nothing special. Though I got to say, the house has never been this quiet. You're fine. How is this game going? Uh, I would say so far so good and lost, but we got to the new place, so not too bad, I think. We have nothing to eat since the flood. I have got some snails and forks. Better this than nothing. I'm out of the crossbars I have found last year in the old wardrobe at the junkyard. The only thing that's left it is to continue writing the journal and listening to this strange radio. In two days, I will visit the junkyard again. Maybe I'll finally find a tape recorder or something that will allow me to record this weird signal. I feel there is something meaning hidden behind it. 
I'm hungry. I'm eating grass and whatever I find in the water. I've seen some strange men between the trees. They are not locals. They are not. They do not hide. They are were dressed in strange clothes, but I was too far to take a better look. Besides, I'm alone, and there are at least three of them. Maybe I'm delusional, or maybe these old ruins aren't empty. I found a blank tape and a broken tape recorder. Maybe I can fix it and do something with it. I've also found some other useful things. I've written them down and left them for later. I don't have the strength to wear them all on my back. Is it possible that the radio tower emits this strange signal? It's been a couple of years since it's been turned over. The woods have blocked the way to it, but no other signals reaches this place from outside. It must be the tower. I need to take a break from this radio. I hear his voice anywhere, everywhere. It's strangely familiar. I can't get it off my head. Lovely. Are you her? Well, this is awkward. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Your witch's moon box has catnip on it and your two little cookies. Driving nuts. Oh no. Can I only imagine how insane they would go about it. Yeah, I think this was the snail wanting to let us there. Unlocked. Wait. Put it open. Don't. A bear trap, many nails and planks. Some useful scrap metal, gun parts, ropes, tapes, antlers, some tools, scrap metal, an old compressor, clothes, broken one, empty bottles, scrap metal, broken. So he ate so many snails that he turned into a snail. Uh, almost makes sense. Almost makes sense. I need to get the fuck out of here and get back to my base. The radio tower is there, okay. Okay, so cut me loose could have meant cutting all of those loose or something. Okay. Oh no, it happens. You know, this one area itself, like, completely depletes the stamina super, super, super fucking fast. So none of those will attack me. So... And down and right. Okay, could you like fuck off? Okay, where is the freaking hideout?
that was close one. Way too fucking close one. Let's go here. I got a new model. Okay, uh, my vitality will increase. Once a day I will be able to become invisible to enemies if I stay still. I will deal double damage and melee when close to death. I think I'll take that. Because I've been waiting for to get heals for a long ass time. So. Okay. Oh, so apparently I forgot the generator on when I left. So I have wasted a big pile of uh, stuff that I would have needed in the desperately. And that doesn't do me any good at all. Looks actually quite a bad. I don't know do we have enough fuel then. At all. Oh, that's bad. I'm gonna leave the pistol there as well. I'm gonna only use that one. You can't give them catnip because they are aggressive. But to get to keep them the heck away from you, you just do a handful up in the air, damn air to hopefully spread it enough they don't fight over it. Hopefully it works out. I'm really hoping so. But I guess that's something we'll find out in a bit. Oh, there is Kasman. I might survive. I just need to remember to turn off it this time. Oh yeah, I remember why I didn't turn it off because I died. Wait, watch. What else do I have to do? Radio is covered in dust. Easy chair. Move this one's closer too. So far, so good. Okay, that is plus. I do hope it stays that way. I really do hope so. Wait, how did we fix this one? Ah, oh, that's a new corpse. Repair. Ah, uh, okay. So we need that mysteries. A body of a man wearing a helmet. His head has been severed. Into the underground. This is a tunnel 21. So somebody made it through as well. Because 21, he was the door we came through here. So I'm not sure is that good thing. Someone scratched out the road. Liar on the helmet windfield. Um, this makes me think that the trader or someone else wasn't too happy about our decision. Maybe the wolf man. And now they are sending a message to us or something like it. Could be wrong, could be right, but definitely damn uncomfortable. Also, I would love to sleep over tonight in this game. I would love it, but I don't think we can do that. None of my keys fit. It's also, who the fuck lives in there? All right, we have the alcohol and the empty bottles, rags. I think on the morning we are probably gonna go to tea and wing. Can't be repaired. Yeah. In the morning, I think we should go check out the radio tower 
not sure what is gonna be in there, but it's there. Did we read something about it? Read you. Uh, Joe. Give me the underground. All oh, about this grass by an enormous snake. It turned out that it can speak. It begged me to cut it loose. Yeah. Uh, there was the, one of the first things. The key to the underground. So I think we found it now again. And that isn't good. But where did it go? Please? Oh, there. Head, weird book. Yeah, keep the underground. Tunnel 21. Makes me think that there is, you know, 20 other tunnels as well. Where's the iron card? What about the black shell? Okay, weird book. Yeah, that's weird indeed. No. Oh, okay. Empty bottles. Drop metal. Oh, quality clothing. Okay, so the guy marked a lot of stuff on the map, which is good. There is the end. Getting ready to head off to work. Have a wonderful rest of your stream and day. Okay, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Have a lovely rest of your day. And hopefully the work day goes well. What in temple are you? Right. Okay, so we go to cast him. Gonna leave it there because I'm afraid of it. Pick it up. Yeah, they are heavy. Really heavy. You can only hope. Yep. Hoping for the best, to be fair. Like, who knows? Maybe it's gonna be a pleasant day. Who knows? Or anything else in mm -hmm. So that's scary. Oop, empty. From the other side, okay. Boop. Not sure where I should go, to be fair. Science, if everywhere is gonna be monsters and there is no safe place, there is no point of parricating because they will get through and all that, it's like. Not sure is it worth of like wasting resources trying to block myself in the house. If they're still gonna get here anyway. <laughs> Not sure. I wish I could hide in the wardrobe to work. Be great.
I put this one closer to the kitchen. You can see there. Okay. Crap! Big mistake. Oh no, what did I do? 